Hi all, sorry, a little bit late. I just realised I had gone live on my uh, personal Facebook page and not on the spiritual events directory. So those of you who um, may have popped on a bit before me, sorry. Um, lucky I worked it out. Um, if anyone's there, if you could just type me a message just so I actually know I'm on the right spot now, though it looks like I am. Hopefully you've all had a great Christmas and New Year and fires are not causing you too much distress and that, um, yeah, you know, it's just an awful time for people. So um, for those people caught up in, in fires and are feeling a bit stressed, please contact me. I'm more than happy to do a, a tapping session with you to help you um, manage and then to teach you some skills to self-manage. Um, yeah, just let me, send me a message if, if you need me. So, hi Kylie, excellent. I've obviously popped online. Um, I guess today I wanted to kind of, just because it's the time of year where we all do New Year's resolutions, um, I thought we'd look at sort of goals. Uh, I try not to do New Year's resolutions just because I'm not always really good at um, the irony of being a life coach in that you're not always very good at organising yourself. Um, great with helping others, but you know, it's like I suppose a carpenter, you know, their or cabinet maker, their kitchens are always the worst. Um, I do definitely do work on myself. This is I'm, I'm not I'm not that bad. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So <coughs> sorry, I have a bit of a cough. Please excuse me. I'm still at work. I uh, obviously work in the automotive industry, hence the calendar over there. Um, really hectic couple of days, uh, and I just. Um, didn't leave in time to get home. So I thought I would stay here. So you get to see the chaos that is the back office in an automotive business um, with, yeah, bits of paper and uh, automotive calendars and uh, quote diaries and, yeah, lots of stuff. Lots of uh, tech manuals that are now pretty old because they're obviously online, a lot of them, but, yeah, some we actually still use them a fair bit. So, all right, anyway. Please grab a pen and paper, a uh, drink of water, because what I want you to do is when things crop up for you, I want you to jot them down. Um, hopefully we'll get on some points that um, you are relevant to you and that resonate with you. And so when that happens, I want you to write it down so that you don't forget. And that's kind of your homework to work on in between. Um, okay. Um, where are we going to go to? This is kind of, because it's a, a tapping circle and I can't see any of you guys, it's really hard for me to get feedback as to what's working and what's not. So what we'll um, do is I pretty much tend to just work on what I need to work on so you really understand a heap of my psyche. Hi, Deborah. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of, yeah, you get to work out what I'm like doing these. Um, okay, for those of you that haven't done any tapping before, um, there are some points that we tap on. We start by, and I'm just going to demo this, but when we're actually going, you just follow along. So, okay, so this is a karate chop. So we tap here, just with a couple of fingers, pretty lightly. Um, don't stress about finding the right spot. You kind of just automatically will hit the spot for you. So don't stress too much. Okay, I'll just tap my glasses off. Um, next spot is here, like where your eyebrow, edge of your eyebrow is. So there. Again, you can tap with one finger. I tend to tap with a couple, you know, just what I like. Um, and at the side of your eye, so for me, it's under my glasses, sort of here. And again, like I can feel a little dip there. That's kind of where I like to tap. Under your eye, so sort of about the middle of your eye, tap there. Under your nose, sort of above your lip, under your nose. In the cleft of your chin, so this sort of bit here. Tap there. Your collarbone, again, don't sort of stress about, you know, is it too far left or is it too far right? It's just where you automatically are going to just tap, you know. Can't get it wrong, trust me. Uh, some people tap under the arm, sort of where your bra straps is. I tend not to. I tend to find it a bit, it just wrecks my flow a bit and um, just feel like I reach across my boobs. Um, so I tend not to do that. And the other one is the top of your head. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Linda. Um, brilliant to see you all here. So 
say, oh, I've got an itchy nose, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is I will tap and you will repeat after me. So more than happy, you know, if stuff crops up for you and you want to share, um, feel free to write a comment. Also happy if you don't want to share and if that's the case, just write it on your bit of paper. Okay, let's go, I guess. Um, we will see. Oh, hang on. I just need to scroll down. It won't automatically scroll down. That's a bit annoying. Okay. Okay, let's go. So tonight we're going to look at some goals. Uh, this, Like I said, this time of year is a really big goal-setting resolution time of year. Um, I like to set goals. I don't and I probably should do a bit more of it because uh, I'm quite a driven person and uh, nice to have uh, know that you reach the milestones because that can be a problem. If you don't really set a goal, you can't measure how you're going. And so then you can just feel disappointed you didn't make it. But, you know, you, you might be three quarters of the way there. So if you measure it on the way, you will um, get a bit of feedback from yourself. So that would be my big tip is, um, you know, it depends how organised you are. Like I'm a bookkeeper by trade, so whilst I'm not super organised, I quite like a good list. Um, so, you know, I would I would have my year goal and then go, okay, well, what's that in six months? What's that in three months? What's that, you know, per month? Try and do that sort of thing and then you don't feel like it's such a leap as well. It's just a little, little step on the way. Okay, so as we get into it, we'll just do a little round of tapping just to get our brains relaxed and calm and open and receptive. Okay, so just follow along, repeat after me. Even though I don't feel present, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling really pre uh, present. Yeah, present's a word, so I was going into Christmas mode. Um, even though I don't feel really present, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I don't feel really centred and present, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so then we'll just, we usually only do the karate chop at the start and then we'll just rotate through the points. Uh, the other thing, feel free to swap hands, swap sides. Um, I usually just use my right hand, which obviously mirror image for you guys. Um, Feel free to swap, and sometimes I will swap. So, my brain is going flat out. I don't feel very centered. So busy, so much going on. I don't feel centered, and I don't feel calm. Too many thoughts, too many thoughts, too many thoughts. I'm not focused, I'm not centred, I'm not calm. I'm not focused, I'm not centred, I'm not feeling present. My mind is racing, I keep thinking the things I have to do, the things that have happened, and I'm not feeling calm. I'm not feeling present and I don't feel focused. But I'm willing to give it a go. I'm ready. I'm gonna try. Just gotta start. I'm here and ready to work on myself and I'm starting to feel calmer already. I'm starting to feel focused. I'm starting to feel present. My thoughts are starting to quieten down and not be so loud. My thoughts are quietening. I'm starting to focus. I'm feeling calm. I'm feeling calmer. I'm ready to work on myself. I'm ready to make these changes. I'm ready to try. I am centered. I'm calm, I'm ready, I'm centred, I'm calm, I'm ready. 
I'm open to the idea of goal setting. I'm open to the idea of tapping. I'm open to the idea of change. I'm calm and I'm focused. Okay, take a deep breath, a couple of really nice deep breaths. If you want to shut your eyes, I tend to, um, also because I'm at work and it's need to get out of the work mode. Okay, what are your goals for this year? Um, feel free to share uh, if you'd like. Um, hi guys who've popped on a little bit later and I've missed you. Um, okay, so what are your goals for the year? What would you like to achieve? Um, you know, we, we can be talking personal, we can be talking work, business, family, health, you know, whatever. Sorry, I'm just tripping on my cord. Um, you just tell me. So all right again. But more than happy if you want to share. So um, while you guys are thinking on that, I'll tell you mine. Um, as I said, I, aside being a life coach, I've actually just started my own bookkeeping business. So my aim is to get myself some clients and um, work for myself again, which I have done previously before um, uh, the place I'm currently at. I used to actually own it uh, and run that and was my own boss. Uh, when we sold it, I agreed to stay on as an employee um, and here I am four years later, still an employee, um, but ready to now get back out and be my own boss and do what I want to do. Um, in that as well is time, just finding some time for myself. I own eight horses. I would love to spend some more time with them um, and my kids. I would just like to spend, you know, some time with them. Um, and, and just doing some small trips with them. You know, they're 18 and 20, so they're not, you know, they don't want to hang out with mum that much. But just to go, you know, have time to, um, yeah, time with the family. So that's my goals. Um, so I have to keep scrolling down. Yeah, Cherie's got peace and inner peace. And it makes such a big difference. If you're um, calmer and, and, and just feel... Uh, you know, I don't know if the inner peace is a confidence thing as well. You know, if you're sort of feeling, um, yeah, that peace and, and that happiness and uh, that confidence, then, you know, your whole life changes. It's the focus of where you where you are. Uh, it's what you focus on. And, you know, I'm, I'm a negative person, so this is coming from someone who's um, trying really hard to remember to be grateful, um, and that's one of my other things is, every day to have, <clears throat> pardon me, <coughs> you know, as I go through the day and I need to write it down, um, I need to say what I'm grateful for. Today I'm really grateful for, you guys, I love my tapping circle. Um, I'm actually going to make a decision as to how long I keep going with this just because uh, I want to focus on my other business at the moment. But this is, it just helps me. So, you know, anyway. Okay, so that's mine. Um, let me scroll down. This is annoying me. Okay, so now you've got your goals written down in front of you. I want you to um, think about how you're going to reach your goals because often a goal involves some sort of change somewhere, um, so it's not the status quo because you're already, you know, then it's not a goal, is it? Um so, and that's often where we fall down because we try for like a really big change and a lot of us don't like change and so then we kind of hold back a little or self-sabotage or um, just don't, yeah, you know, we just find it really hard. Change is really difficult, you know. We all like to be safe and change often makes you feel unsafe. So, um yeah, so what is it that holds you back from your goal? Like say mine might be um, I've got to put myself out there to get clients and and maybe I would word that as um, the big hurdle for me is financial. Like, you know, I need to be more financially secure. 
But if you narrow down a little bit, it's probably more the um, having to put myself out there and, and be a bit vulnerable and approach people and cold call people and say, hey, I'm a bookkeeper, hey, would you like my services? So it's um, it's actually a bit, it's not always as simple as you said. That kind of is a bit of a rounded way of saying it. Um, but, you know, what is holding you back from your goals? Uh, is it a confidence thing? Is it... Um, yeah, putting yourself out there. Is it uh, feeling scared people will laugh at you? Is it scared of change? You know, like the, what? what is it that's going on for you? Um, yeah, so Kim, Kim has some back pain. Tapping works really well with um, pain, Kim. So... Um, I haven't used it in the tapping circle just because, um, but you'll find lots of online stuff as to um, how it works really well. But even um, doing this sort of stuff, like it's not focusing on the pain, will actually help because uh, you just feel lighter and it'll reduce your stress and anxiety, and, and which, of course, you know, just makes you feel better. So, all right. Okay, so what's holding you back from your goals? Why, when you think about it, how stressed are you on a level of zero to ten? Where are you sitting? Ten being you are so stressed out that you cannot possibly imagine being any more stressed whatsoever. Okay, and zero, of course, is no stress whatsoever. All right, all right, we're going to tap away. Even though I have these goals and they scare me a little bit, I deeply and completely accept myself. I have these goals that scare me, but I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have these goals and they really scare me, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. I have some goals for the year, but I'm nervous about them. They scare me a bit. I need to make some changes. I'm not sure I can do it. Makes me feel worried. Makes me feel scared. These goals scare me. These goals scare me. Makes me nervous. I worry I'll fail. I feel a bit scared. I feel a bit worried. Just don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can make these changes. I don't know if I can. Big goals. Big goals are scary. Because big goals are big change. And I don't like change. I don't like change. I'm scared. I'm a bit nervous. I'm worried. I'm worried about what people think. I'm worried I'll be a failure. Maybe I won't like it when I get there. I get a bit scared. Okay. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Uh, what's going on for you? Hopefully your stress came down a little bit then. Um, I also want you to have a think about um, where in your body you're holding that tension uh, or where it's sort of coming through. Um, some people it'll be neck. I'm a bit of a neck girl. Actually, I'm, I'm all over. Um, neck, jaw, shoulders, they, uh, chest, they tend to be the areas that we hold a bit of stress and tension. So I just want you to have a think about where that's holding onto for you as well. And then we'll come back to that and hopefully that will have reduced as well. Um, anyone want to share whether their stress went up, down, around? Um, oops, sorry. Um, there we go. So hopefully it has come down. If it's gone up, it probably means that something in your brain has gone, ooh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's me. And your brain's kind of jumped onto another topic. Um, which is totally fine, and if that's the case, and if you identified it, 
uh, write it down because that's what you need to work on as you um, by yourself. So, all right, let us keep going. Um, all right, I want to make changes, and I am excited about my goals, even though I'm a bit nervous. I'd like to reach my goals. When I think about my goals, I feel a bit stuck. Sorry, I'm just moving my mouse. Oh, good, Kim's calmed down a bit. Brilliant, so it works. It's great stuff, Tim. I think I'm ready to go for these goals and I think I'm ready for change. I'm not really sure. I have some doubts. When I think about my goals, I feel a bit stuck. I feel a bit scared. But I'm a bit excited. So it's a funny kind of mix. Sometimes I'm excited. Sometimes I'm just plain scared. Sometimes I'm happy, looking forward to it. And sometimes I feel a bit sad and frustrated. I'm scared I might not be able to do it. Scared about reaching my goals. I feel a bit stuck. I feel a bit stuck. I don't know how to reach my goal. I'm worried I'll self sabotage. I'm worried people will laugh. I just get a bit scared because things are going to change. For me to reach my goal, things have to change. And I want that change because otherwise I wouldn't have set that goal. I want that change. But I feel a bit daunted. A little bit daunted. A little bit scared. A little bit worried. But there is some excitement. I can visualise me reaching my goal. I can visualise it. And it makes me a bit excited because it could be great. It really could be great. But I'm scared something will hold me back because I've set goals before and I haven't reached them. I've set goals before and I haven't reached them. So I'm just you. I've set goals before and I didn't reach them. Not sure why I didn't reach them. But it made me feel like a failure. I don't want to feel like that again. I don't like feeling worried. I don't like feeling scared. But I'm a bit excited, a bit worried, and a bit stressed. But I set these goals because I want something to change. I want something to change. Okay, a couple of deep breaths. Um, anyone like to share? Are you feeling a bit more mellow? I have to say I am. I'm feeling a bit more. Which is nice. So um, anyone wants to share, if you started out, let me know if you started out with a high sort of stress level and it's dropped right down um, or anything that's popped into your brain. Um, so I started to talk about and tap on things that might stop you from reaching a goal. Um, is it, you know, people might look at you if you have to put yourself out there. Is it a confidence thing? Is it people will laugh at you and you don't want to feel a failure and you don't want to be noticed? Is it, um, is it just easier to be safe and to then just go, I don't care about my goals, I'm happy the way I am? You know, even though you, you kind of want, your goals and you want things to be good. Um, you know, we can kind of also like being in a little safe space. So what is it for you? Um, oh, good. Deborah's feeling calm. Lovely. Um, okay. We'll just tap for a bit more and see where we're at. We're going through fairly quickly tonight. So. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. 
I sabotage myself by telling myself I can't do it or believing that other people, I believe that other people tell me I can't do it. Other people tell me it won't work. And part of me believes them. Part of me uses that as an excuse not to keep going. But it's difficult. And I want to make change. But it's so easy to believe that people will laugh at me. It's so easy to believe that some people will think I'm a failure. It's just too easy to believe it. I'm worried. I'm worried I can't do it. I don't want people to laugh at me. I don't want people to think I'm a failure. So maybe it's better not to go for my goals. Maybe it's better to stay hidden and stay safe. I don't want people to laugh at me. I don't want people to notice me. I don't want people to think I'm a failure. I want to achieve my goals, but I'm worried I won't. I want to achieve, but I'm scared. I actually sometimes look for negative things. I look for negative things and I talk myself out of my goals because I'm scared of failure, because I'm scared. I feel safe. The new goals are scary. I like to feel safe. Even though I want the change, it scares me. I don't want people to laugh at me. I want to be successful. I want things to change. And I want my goals to happen. I want my goals to happen. Okay, let's check in. I know Angela's, uh, Andrea sorry, is saying that she feels a bit lighter. Yeah, tapping really, it's honestly, you could just, while, while you guys are having to think about anything that's come up, I'll just chat. Um, the thing you can do, you know, if you're feeling a bit of stress about something, just tap, tap here. Find the spot that you like. You can actually tap on your fingers, so that tends to be the point just on the inner side of your nail closest to your thumb. So you can just tap. On them, yeah, under a table, you can just sort of tap away. I don't find that works as well as the um, tapping on my sort of upper body, but it's better than nothing. Um, also, what I have found, if I start to just think about tapping, so if, if say you're on a, on a bus or at the dentist surgery or whatever, you're feeling a bit stressed, just start to think about tapping on the spot. I find that actually really helps me as well, even though you're physically not getting that, um, it must just be the process that my brain knows what's going on, so it will relax. So I find that really helpful. So, um, yeah, Tracy, doing it daily, I am i shouldn't say this, but I tend to um, not be as organised and efficient as I would like to be, and um, I do some of those mistakes. But, yeah, I, yeah, it is a great practice. It's great to do if you wake up and there's a lot going on in your head, write it all down, get it out of your brain and then tap to just relax yourself. Okay, um, anyone had a really big light bulb moment about suddenly realising it, why they're not reaching their goals um, and what it is that is stopping you. A lot of it for me personally is um, I like to be safe, I like to be secure, I like to know where things are. I don't like crazy, weird stuff happening. I just like normal. So what I now try to do is I talk about if I'm going to make a change, I'll actually talk to myself and go, it's okay. Like I try to give the advice that I would give to someone else. You know, I, I say to myself, it's okay, don't panic. Um, you're just trying to keep yourself safe. You're doing the right job. You're trying to keep yourself safe. So I talk to myself and, and congratulate my um, inner security guard. Um, I tend to visualise mine as a 
it's kind of a bit out there for some people. Um, it's like the angel and the devil that sit on your shoulder. I have an inner crossing guard lady, like a lollipop lady. We call them, I'm assuming most of you in Australia, you know, the lollipop lady. But kind of because I can see her as um, nice and protective and loving, um, wanting me to be safe. So she sits on my shoulder and she chats away to me about, be careful, don't cross the road. It's dangerous over there. You know, that sort of thing. And so um, I then try to just go, it's okay. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a big girl now. I can cross the road by myself. Or even if she helps me cross the road, when I get to the other side, it's okay. She can, she doesn't have to follow me all the way. That sort of thing, like that actually, you know, for some reason that really gels with me. And so I will often, when I'm in the process of thinking about what I want to do, I'll actually imagine that and just tell myself that I am safe. I'm safe. I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm okay. Thank you for your help, lollipop lady, but I'm safe and I'm okay. I can start to make these decisions and I appreciate your help. I, I actually will do that and I'll tap as I'm saying that to myself. Another visualisation I do, probably not as much as my lollipop lady, um, but I imagine my life is a soccer field, rugby field, cricket field, whatever you want to imagine. I just like squares. So um, I imagine a soccer field, or, you know, oblong rectangle. I like a soccer field. Um, and, uh, you know, there's umpires running around the outside. You're not allowed to go over the line, don't go over the line, don't go over the line. What I try to do is I try to imagine my lines move out a little bit. So when I want to make a change, you know, and a, a little bit, we're not talking, my field doesn't have to double overnight, but, you know, my field that is my life and if I want to expand my life or expand whatever it is that I'm wanting to work on, I will go, okay, I'm going to expand the lines on my soccer field uh, that is my mind. I'm going to expand it just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Um, so then it kind of escalates a little bit to where I feel a lot safer. So, oops, sorry, I'm clicking on my thing and my mouse is just really misbehaving. Um, yeah, Andrew, that's so true. Like, I totally relate to you because you like to feel safe but you want to go for it. Um, a kind of, we probably need to keep tapping, but I'll just tell you this story because this happened to me recently and I am sure the only reason that I got through it was um, tapping and the only reason I said yes was because of the tapping and the life coaching stuff that I've done. Um, I decided that um, because I work here, it's a really nice safe place for me. I've worked here and owned the, or owned the business or worked here for like 14 years. Know my job inside out, know everything about the business pretty well. Um, my boss who he bought the business off me. So I used to be his boss, now he's my boss. We get along, you know, reasonably well. We have our moments, but, you know, pretty much we get along really well. So my life is pretty safe. Um, but after a divorce and whatever, financially I need to make decisions, I need to make changes to make my life a little bit easier financially. So I have an accounting degree um, and I thought I'm going to open a gym's book. I did a bit of research, thought, no, this is for me. I can make this go. I can do this, you know, run my own business. I'm okay with people. Totally fine. So I make that decision. I go off to the gym's training. While I'm there, they um, ask me what my goal is. And I said, in 12 or 18 months, I'd like to be the Tasmanian, Tasmanian Regional Franchisor for gym's so that job involves looking after all the other bookkeepers, uh, which currently there's two, me and one other, um, so not too hard at the moment, um, but getting new people into the um, family, and it is a family, um, and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And he said, that's great, but someone else wants to do that, um, and they want to do it now. So they've currently got all the contracts. They're looking at it. If you want to do it, you're going to have to do it. And this guy doesn't lie. Like he never said that to anyone else, you know. So he's pretty upfront. So I um, rang my dad and said, "Hey, dad, this opportunity is here. I'm not sure if financially I can afford it, um, and I'm a bit scared, but I'd really like to do it." And my dad um, went, "You should do it. I'll lend you the money." 
So I went back and I said, okay, I'm in. So basically in the face, you know, like, and normally I would run a mile. I would go, yeah, no, 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 I can't do it financially. I don't have the time. I can't learn two businesses at once. You know, too much change, too much change, back off. And pop in my little safety, you know, back into my little soccer field. Um, so I but I went, sure, let's expand the soccer field. Let's not make it this much bigger. Let's make it this much bigger. And I'm pretty sure the only reason I did this was because I've done a little bit of work on um, this sort of stuff. And I did have to go back to my room afterwards and sit there and honestly tapped for ages. I'm, a, I'm safe. I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm okay. And I talked to myself and I went through all this stuff. Um, still a bit nervous, still have uh, the odd thing. I went back and went to my uh, mentor, the teacher, the lady who owns the Australian Tapping Institute where I did my life coaching and tapping course, rang her up and said, oh, I need to talk to you. And uh, so I did a talk with her and oh, pretty much I settled down. So Sorry, long and we've kind of gone off topic, but this stuff can really help make changes. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, you know, you've just got to just keep little steps, little steps, and then, you know, sometimes it's going to be a big step. But most of the time you keep making those little changes and then when the time comes to make the big step, it's just that little bit easier. Okay, so does that make sense? Sorry, having a big ramble here. I'm telling you about all my life. Um, so I hope that kind of helps and, you know, if, if that works for you, the, the inner lollipop lady on your shoulder or the um, playing field, some people also imagine they're in a, in a box and their life's in a box. And what they start to do is they imagine that um, it goes from solid to um, bars so they can see in and out. And then over time the bars kind of um, become more opaque and slowly disappear. But if they need to go back in the box where it's safe, the box is there. You know, just step back into the box knowing they can step back out. Um, that one personally doesn't work for me, but I know someone that really likes that one. So try that. Um, the other thing you can do is talk about who is driving your bus. And your bus is your life. So who is in charge of your life? Is it the... Um, scared teenage girl who doesn't have a driver's license have you put her have you kind of reverted to the teenage you who is really unsure about the future is a little bit unsure about you know like, you know what it's like as a teenager your body's kind of a bit weird and you're not really sure what's going on anywhere your own emotions are going um life's a bit um have somehow you got into that pattern and the bus driver of your life, of your bus, is the teenage girl without a driver's licence. You know, if you start to think of it that way, then, you know, pretty quickly you start to think, well, hang on, poor girl, she's really stressed, she needs some help. So you've got to think about the person that you want driving the bus. Um, you know, for me it's the professional businesswoman. She needs to get into the bus she needs to just be like cool, calm, got it under control. And, yeah, she might lose it later and sit at the back of the bus, but sometimes she's got to take charge. So that's a really good analogy. Some people imagine it's a little lost child um, who just is really scared, really scared, doesn't know what's going on at all. Um, and yet you've got her making, you know, running things. Um, so it's kind of where you revert to. Um, again, this is a really basic really quick overview of some of this stuff. Some of this stuff's quite deep. Um, if you'd like a, a deeper chat on this, let me know. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's um, I love the bus stuff. The bus is really cool. Um, you know, so just imagine who's on your bus. Like, so you probably have, you've got like a, a, an inner child who's quite young. You've got a teenager. You've got maybe you in your 20s when you've finished uni or you've got a job and, Life starts to just feel like you've got a bit of sense of control over who you are and money and what you can buy and where you live and how many dogs you own, uh, things like that. And, you know, then you start to maybe have the, the mother. So you've got, you know, the 
age where your kids and you become a bit protective and a bit, um, you know, mum-like. Um, so, yeah, you've got all those things. And then, you know, maybe you've got the wise old woman on the back of the bus or maybe you've got, you know, professional woman. Um, so, you know, you've probably got several different personas. So you might want to think about who's uh, driving that bus, who's driving your life. Um, so you need to try and, uh, you know, it's kind of a fun analogy too to think about uh, who's who's the one in charge and who do you want in charge. And then you can start to tap on, um, you know, or, or not even tap, you can just start to tell the teenage you who's driving, it's okay, you don't have to be in control. You don't even have a map. You don't know how to drive. You don't know where the brakes are. You don't know how to steer. Um, yeah, you don't know how to slow down or speed up. Like, you know, it's okay. Let me help you. And so you can either teach the teenager how to drive, or you can just say to her, "Hey, have a break. Sit up the back for a minute. Hang out with your friends. Um, hang out with the child and the wise woman." <laughs> you know. Um, so you can start to just talk to yourself and, and make, um, kind of start to understand why you react the way you do and why you respond and that sort of thing. And once you start to think about that, it just, change is a little bit easier, you know, and it's all little steps. So often, you know, you guys always hear me say, um, you know, it's just like, it doesn't matter how big forward is forward. Forward is forward is my favourite saying ever. Okay. Sorry, everyone, rambled a bit. You know now all about me. Um, okay, so we'll keep tapping for a bit and we'll see where we go. I'm ready to make my changes. I'm ready to step outside. I'm ready to make changes. I'm ready to make changes just need to start to practice the changes. It's all just practice and it's going to take some time. There's no rush. I'm going to tell my lollipop lady I'm safe. I'm going to tell my lollipop lady I'm safe. I'm going to tell my lollipop lady I'm safe. I'm going to tell my lollipop lady I'm safe. I am safe. I am safe. I want to make some changes and reach my goals. I need to think about who's driving my bus, who's in charge, who's providing direction and speed, who's driving my bus. I need to help that person go in the right direction. It's probably not going to be a straight line. In fact, it won't be. Sometimes it'll be fast. Sometimes it'll be slow. Sometimes we'll weave around. Sometimes change will be fast. Change will be slow. Sometimes it'll feel like we're going in circles. But that's okay. We started the process. It's starting the process that matters. It's acknowledging we're going to change. Acknowledging we're going to try. And telling ourselves we're safe. And helping ourselves helping ourselves move forward, helping ourselves feel safe, helping ourselves move forward. Our speed will change. Our speed will change. But that's okay. Sometimes we'll be running towards our goals. Sometimes we'll run toward our goal. Sometimes we won't. Sometimes we'll just crawl. That's okay. Forward is forward. 
forward is forward. Even if we stop still for a little while, as long as we think about moving forward, we try. Just taking tiny little steps to keep moving forward. We can stop and take a breath and tell ourselves we're safe. Stop and take a breath. Give us time to feel safe again. And then we can move forward. It's all okay. It's all okay. It's all okay. Forward is forward. Forward is forward. Forward is forward. We'll help the person driving our bus. We'll help them. We'll help them be safe. We'll help them move forward. We will move forward. We will move forward. And look at our goals and feel brave and safe. We'll be brave, we'll be safe, we'll move towards our goals. We'll be brave, but safe, and move towards our goal. We'll move towards our goal, we'll move towards our goal. Forward is forward, small steps are fine. 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 Okay, how's that feeling for everyone? Um, hopefully now you're all feeling light and relaxed. Um, again, if things have kind of gone the other way, something else has cropped up, either a memory or um, uh, another event that has been triggered. If that's the case, write that down, work on that um, after we finish here uh, and at night uh, on the car on the way to work, you know, just work on it. Um, hopefully you guys, the bus analogy, I really love the bus analogy and I like that crossing lady on my shoulder analogy. Uh, they're my go-to things. Um, Anyone like to give me a little bit of feedback as to what's happening for them um, and let me know. Sorry, guys, I do chat on a bit. Um, so tonight you've yeah, learned far too much about me. Um, okay, all right, so let's get into some really good um, positive round and we will finish with you all feeling absolutely like you're amazing and brilliant and you can take on the world. So, okay. I am amazing. I am amazing. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm caring. And I'm safe. I am amazing. I am amazing. I'm amazing. I am me, and that's brilliant. I am me. I'm amazing. I'm caring. I'm loving. Just for thinking about change, I'm great. Just for turning up tonight means I'm ready. I'm amazing. I'm brilliant. I'm caring, I'm great, I'm brilliant, I am amazing. Amazing is a really good one, just works for me. I'm powerful, I'm strong, I'm compassionate, I'm amazing, I'm powerful, I'm strong. I'm compassionate, I'm amazing, I'm powerful, 
I'm strong. I'm compassionate. I'm safe. 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 I'm amazing. 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 Okay. How's everyone feeling? I hope Margaret can actually see that I'm looking a bit sleepy and relaxed myself. So that's kind of nice. Um, that's pretty much it for this week. Finished a little bit early. Um, I want you to all have a think about the, the bus um, and who is driving your bus um, towards your goals because you want the right person in, in charge, you know. It's okay for that person to take a bit of a break and someone else to step up for a little minute. But basically, yeah, like I said, you, you may not want the um, inner child or rebellious teenager driving your bus to your goal. Um, yeah, you know, let them out. Let them drive sometimes, but, yeah, not, not all the time. So any questions, feel free to type away um, while we're here for the next couple of minutes. Hopefully tapping has helped you just feel a bit calmer and relaxed. As I said, it's a really great thing to do um, at night to just relax and, and, and just kind of free your mind from all the stuff that's gone on. Um, and definitely use it uh, during the day. I use a little bit when I'm driving. I just will tap here. Um, yeah, but over the holidays I've been a bit slack, so this has kind of been lovely, lovely to catch up with you guys and um, just get back into the habit as well. Um, I hope you do all achieve your goals. Definitely check in with me on the on the way through the year on my Facebook page um, or on here and let me know how you're going. Uh, and as I said, if any of you are fire affected and feeling um, the stress, <coughs> pardon me, um, more than happy for you guys to contact me. Um, we'll do a one-on-one -on -one session together, uh, obviously no charge, um, just to help you uh, get rid of some stress and anxiety with the, with the situations. Um, all right, that's me for another week. Stay safe, everyone. Um, oh, good, Deborah. I'm glad you, yeah, this one. Um, I love the bus stuff. We might do some more bus stuff. I can't, that wasn't even on my notes, but as we got into it, I kind of got into the bus. So um, I probably need to do some bus work myself, seeing it came up. Um, yeah, so take care, everyone. Love you guys. Appreciate you coming along and supporting me on here. I will see you all next week. Mwah. See ya.